Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into some exciting updates from Anstropic about the Cloud 3.5, including their groundbreaking computer use capability that is now in public beta. Whether you are an AI developer or just interested in AI advancement, these updates are significant in the future of AI Assistant. Let's dive in. So, Anthropic has announced three major capability: an upgraded version of Cloud 3.5 Sonnet with improved capability, a new model called the Cloud 3.5 Haiku, and an outstanding computer use capability that is now in public use for the developer. Let's break down each of these updates and understand what they mean for the industry. Let's start with upgraded Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. This is not just a minor update. It's a significant leap forward, especially in the software development. The numbers are impressive. SWE Bench performance verified a jump from 33.4 to 49%. TAU Bench performance increased to 69.2 in retail and 46% in airline domain. But what does this mean in practical terms? Companies like GetLab have reported 10% stronger reasoning across their use cases, with no added latency. The browser company says it's outperforming every AI model they have tested before. And the best part is that all these improvements come at the same price and speed as the previous version. Now let's talk about the new kit in the blog, Cloud 3.5 Haiku. Think of it as the speedster of the Cloud's family. What is impressive here is that it matches the performance of Cloud 3 Opus, the previous largest model, while maintaining the cost and speed effectiveness of the Heiko line. Some key points about the Heiko is that it outperformed Cloud 3.5 Sonnet in some areas. It's perfect for large volume of data, and it's coming out later this month with text capability first, followed by image input. If you are building an application that requires quick response while maintaining high quality, this is the model you will want to watch for. Now let me share with you what I think is the most exciting update. Cloud's ability to use computer like we do. This is groundbreaking because it's completely different of how AI usually works. Think of it like this. Instead of chatting and writing code, a cloud can now use computer like you and me. It can browse website and click around, uh, fill out form and navigate through different pages, understand what see on the screen and take action, and work with multiple applications at once. Imagine having an AI assistant that can watch you, do a task once, and then handle it for you afterward. That's exactly what companies like Replit and Canva are already exploring. Having Cloud help with tasks that normally would require many manual steps to complete. Now this feature is not available for everyone yet. It's still on testing phase. If you are a developer interested in trying out, you will need access to Anstropic API, uh, Amazon Badrock, or Google Cloud. And if you are interested in seeing this in action once it becomes more widely available, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to create a detailed tutorial showing developers how to integrate this in their applications. These updates represent a significant step forward in the AI capabilities. Whether you are a developer looking to automate a complex workflow or just curious about the AI advancement, there is a lot to be excited about. Finally, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI updates. See you in the next video.